Hey, Jeremy Rasmussen here, Chief Technology Officer for Advocate Cybersecurity and Compliance. Last Thursday, a Microsoft engineer reported on seeing a piece of software that had been backdoored with a Trojan horse, which allows for remote access into systems. And fortunately, this was picked up before it got widely distributed. It was, it was going to be part of the Linux uh, operating system. And since it uh, affected the uh, secure shell, which is uh, the remote method of logging into systems, it could have potentially affected over 20 million computers worldwide, which would have had a devastating effect. But like I said, um, through kind of sheer luck, uh, it was discovered when he was actually testing another service and saw a slowdown in the service and realized something was going on. And without going into too much detail, the attacker was very sophisticated and would have probably been nation state backed to allow this, this person to insinuate themselves into the open source build process over time. I'm talking over a course of years, right? They would have had to get involved in the open source project, um, gain the trust of the people running the project, and then insert their backdoor code to do malicious things. So very insidious attack, very dangerous. And also um, highlight some of the supply, software supply chain issues that we've been talking about over the last few years and shows why you can never put your trust in one you know, solution. You have to have layers of security, checks and balances. I tell you what, if I ever meet Andre Sprend at RSA or Black Hat Breed Things or DEF CON, I'm going to buy that guy a beer. And everybody else should too, because what he discovered kind of by accident ended up saving literally millions of people a lot of time, effort, and money. Um, and who knows how widespread the devastation would have been. At Abaco, we helped put together something called the Zero Trust Architecture, which is making sure you, you know, identify and authorize users wherever they are in the environment. You segment all your important data away, and you do continuous monitoring. Um, that's, way, that's the only way you can really get your arms around these types of problems, because we're going to continue to see these you know, in the future. So if you want to learn more, um, I put together a blog post about this kind of summarizing the issues and, you know, saying what you should be doing. Um, we did dodge a bullet this time, but the next time it could be a lot worse. So see it RSA. By the way, if you ever want to send me a sticker, I'm open to it. Yeah, as you can tell, I don't have enough on my laptop right now.